Hello and welcome again at Stocks. Today we'll talk about Biox Biostept Incorporated traded at Nasdaq. Well, today if you look at the candle itself or the chart itself, you would say, well, it's going to another wave down because we see a major decline took place and we are about to make another negative wave and maybe then to return. But as always, news kick in and what we see that after hours we are trading plus 32.23% really a lot huge jump uh, based on uh, earning reports but no surprise it's a company with extremely small market capitalization only 68 million 69 almost well simply speaking it's a penny stock in a sense of the market cap maybe not the price but it's a penny stock kind of company and in that sense what do we see let's check again it's 6.81 so it means that at the moment we are sitting uh, 6.81 so what is this line where is it and we can clearly see this is the level actually it's a channel that was traded um, before the major increase of the price and major decline in July August so June before that this is the channel and this is very important why it is here because uh, since it's an earnings report it's also kind of historical flashback so it's going back to these levels where the company was so we are sitting there but what's next will it hold will it grow or not well with this jump most probably what will happen tomorrow it will be either volatility with a very strong resist resist on these levels because this channel is quite strong between 7.5 and 8 and if you would draw it as a line let's say at um, about 8 will start a definitely very strong resist and most probably pierce it if there won't be really a very uh, fast move but in general most probably the majority of the trade will be done after hours and then the shorts will attack so most probably what will happen it will be a kind of a u-shape formation similar to one we saw by uh, mid of november december so it might be declining with waves so cup and candle formation handle formation maybe uh, something like that or it could be actually uh, similar to this one in uh, end of Jan uh, July a very big upward shadow with decline and then again grow so there will be grow of course we are already in a kind of a bouncing behavior because even if we start these levels even higher somewhere with volatile between R1 and uh, let's call this line S1 tomorrow most probably but will we finish there or not? This is still a big question. Most logical would be to volatile somewhere here and then actually a little bit to uh, go. With this being said, the best level to enter here, uh, the best level to trade here, trying to make a quick profit will be anything to buy, anything between moving averages 20 and 50, because this is the very strong price to enter first. Yes, you would say, yeah, we need to enter, we need to engage, but most probably the price will bounce down. And if this is happening, it will be perfect play, very profitable here. So between um, 568 and actually 636. So this will make it a very nice entry as a first. And then at the rebounds, you could... Even if tomorrow it starts, you could easily make actually very nice money here. And uh, here could be taken up to 20% profit. So usually we advise 10 to 15, but this is very fastly moving chart. So 20% profit could be made here with a careful play. And once done, take it, re-enter if needed, make it again. But don't be too greedy. Don't wait too long. Take your profit. Until you press the sell, you don't have a profit. So... When you have a profit, take it because profit taken, it is taken indeed. It's yours. Otherwise, it's just in the position. And then um, if after this rebounds and some volatility that is expected tomorrow between R1 and S1 channel, we, we could still even go lower because um, still in general, uh, the price might even bounce down if the shorts attack will be very strong. And it might be, uh, although still this trend was almost to be broken today but okay the news can play its role and then we could just go where it was going so to break uh, this t1 trend and if this is happening we need to be prepared 
to to enter again if you want sell in time uh, so the next level to enter in this in this stock will be really on these volatilities which will be between uh, here between 410 and 450 so this will be a second level of course you might say wow these news uh, it's not going to go there well not immediately but you need to understand the type of news it is it's a news on the past so it's not a news for the future news of the past means that it shows that something was good before that's why you have these earning reports but what it is now you still don't know and it just reflects the history here that's why it's trading between R1 and S1 but in general it might continue this uh, famous move of uh, August when we declined all the time and it might be again spike and another downwards move so it's just a mitigation of risk just being safe in the trade and uh, not being actually caught by uh, this volatility waves. so with this being said it's very simple trade here only two waves um, not advised to buy already because most probably it will start declining but with these two should be quite safe playing here it's a sim simple one two strategy so just three portions you can play and then you can buy with one portion in the first channel and then you can average down with two portions in the second channel not much negativity is expected here overall because it should be still uh, possible to make 15 to 20 percent profit on this one uh, for those who are mid-term traders, well, it's very hard to say because it's a very small market capitalization. And if any bad news comes from kind of like FDA or something like that, it could be just killing it. But just to write a couple of days on these volatilities and news, this is the way to do it so we can quickly do. And this is the numerical uh, representation. If you're a morphographical one, you could look here. And overall, this presents so-called trade which you can save, print screen, or just print it out. Keep it as your guidance for trading with this stock. And with this being said, that's all for buying at the moment, actually. Good luck with it. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel if you're first time watching this video. This way you will not miss our new videos and new interesting discussions for US-based stocks. And by the way, speaking of being connected, you can also find us on Facebook, Instagram. There we also repost uh, the stocks that were discussed on YouTube channel, so you can check from there if there is something interesting then go to the channel and watch the video according to your interest. So with this being said, good luck and see you at another episode of Stocks Advisor channel.